First Talk, local guest, local news, local sports. WHKY Talk Radio, 1290 AM and 102.3 FM. First Talk with Hal Rowe, WHKY Talk Radio. Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Our guest this morning, Manny pitts We're going to be talking about the Hickory Metro Convention Center and the Hickory Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. We're going to be talking about visitors in our area. Manny, thanks so much for joining us. Miss pitts Hildebrand, uh, and of course, everybody knows or should know, Mandy Pitts. We, we would not have First Talk were it not for Mandy Pitts. She was with the city of Hickory, plugged us in with all the appropriate people, uh, and really helped us get the show off the ground a good number of years ago. Made sure we were in the first parade that year after we came on the air, So uh, and was the host of the longest-running segment on the First Talk radio program, Get Hip to Hickory. Mandy, the original host, hostess, host of that. <laughs> So thank you very much. Well, thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. Well, thank you. I'll let you get started. Well, so just to kind of remind everybody, because a lot of people are like, what do you do exactly? You know, we're all, all of us work together to promote and support our community. Um, but the Tourism Development Hat, which I've been there, believe it or not, this October it will be nine years no since way. I have served as the CEO for the Hickory Conover Tourism Development Authority, which really was started in the 80s. But we do business as the Hickory Metro wow. Convention Center and the Hickory Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. Right. So what is a vi- people are like? What is CVB? Right. Well, it's, it really are, we are the destination marketing organization for our county. Okay. And we say Hickory Metro visitors don't know city lines, county lines, but they know the Hickory Metro. And so that's what our role is. And we just updated our mission statement. In October, it was time for a refresh because we had pretty much met the goals. Let's let's do some more. You know, I love right. a challenge. Let's do another challenge. And so right now, really, we worked with a, a firm that this is their specialty to work on missions for tourism development authorities. And our mission, I want you to really think about this, is to market and enhance the economy of the Hickory Metro by promoting a dynamic destination with sports, conventions, events, and leisure travel. And that's a lot, but when you really think about that, that's the hat that we wear, and we blend with all the other um, organizations within our community that are making our community a vibrant place where our job is to bring people here. And um, just to remind people, because when I say that, that people are like, oh, yeah, that does make sense. I didn't even realize we had that here in our community. I was like, yes, we do, and we're, uh, we're more than just the convention center. We are bringing visitors here. So, you know, I know we um, have a lot to talk about today, but I thought, Break it down to three things. First of all, the Convention Center expansion. If anyone's listening is not aware of the Convention Center expansion, that's right along I-40 on 13th Avenue Drive Southeast. You need to drive by and check it out. We are almost 11 months in. I remember coming here about a month before. I was like, okay, yeah, we're going to break ground. We're going to see how it goes, how we're going to stay positive. You brought the bear. And I brought Barry. Barry, Barry. Barry. Barry could not come with me today. He was a little tired after Easter. But, you know, Barry the bear, our um, bear with us, we have done really well over the past 11 months um, with our construction. Right now, just to give people a recap, we are adding an additional about 46,000 square feet. That is adding a big 35,000 square foot space with 30 foot ceilings where we can have sports, basketball, pickleball, cheer, all kinds of things. It can also be an expo space and it's connecting to our Catawba space, which is a space that was renovated in 2005, but we they are putting the carpet in last week. It is Oh, uh, wow. Already ceiling. doing the carpet? Oh, yes. I'll send you a little picture later. Um, so That's a big part of the job. Now, usually, I don't know, you tell me, is carpeting... Kind of one of those last things that they do, and that one space, and our, okay, and our space that's been renovated. Which I bet you, I bet you, seventy percent of the listeners right now have probably been in that space before, and um, it is updated, lower ceilings, carpet, redoing, you know, updating the bathrooms, expanding the restrooms. There's just so many details, so I couldn't, I can't hit them all today. Right, sure, no, but. No, no. Expansion's could, going on. It is. Go to visithickorymetro.com, click on our construction update. We'll have another update this week, um, the latest update. It's it's fabulous. One thing that we are doing and our board did approve, yes, we are borrowing. The, this is one thing I always like to make clear, too, because everyone listening is also, I, I believe all the leaders listen to this, whether it's right now or later. 
um, and then those in the community that really care. Um, there's been a lot of chatter about why, why, is, why are they doing this convention center and, and why are we paying for it? Well, our visitors pay for that convention center. Um, it's the people that are putting the events on, also the occupancy tax, the people that stay in the hotels. That is what's um, building this, and we have been so successful that it's time to leave, do it another level of success. And right. luckily we have a few hotels that are getting ready to go up because we need more hotel space to fit. Who would ever the thought center. that? Who would have ever 20 years ago said we need more hotels? Right. And you know what? Now, I, I'm going to take a moment right now to okay. thank Mr. Lee Lale. Yes. That's Since the last time, yeah. that just chills on my arm here. He he and Lynn have made a tremendous, uh, they're a tremendous asset to our community, love our community. The story I know is back in the early 80s, Leroy Lale was saying, we need a convention center. Oh, really? And working with, and that's a whole whole other segment, which I think we've talked about before, the, the communities that had hotels were Hickory and Conover. Back then, they were starting tourism development authorities in North Carolina, which you could collect occupancy tax, use that money to promote your community, but also you could use it for other things. And we have used it for the convention center, which is a destination. It's just like a Panther Stadium, the beach, you, you know, you name it. It's a destination right. for our area. So, Mr. Lale, you got to remember there was one hotel, the Moles. Holiday Inn. Oh, oh, oh well, the Moles, Moles. Yeah. And then there was Holiday Inn, which is now the Crown. Right. And that whole area, when you look at the very beginning of the picture, is nothing but trees. Nothing was in that area. But now it's considered the convention center district. Right. That's what it is. And yeah. it's it's like the regional. Rick Beasley said this, the assistant city manager with Hickory the other day, and it makes sense. That stretch of land is the regional downtown, regional main street for the Hickory Metro, if you think about it. You've got the main hotel brands. You've got the stores that are all across the United States, big chain. So it is like the regional Main Street and now with the convention center. And that makes sense to me. But thank you, Mr. Leroy Lale. He has made quite a difference in our community. His wife, his whole family does so much for us. I mean, there's a lot of people that do a lot for our community, but the Lales have have given 500% of their love and life to So the glad area. he was around to see ASU at Hickory get here. Me too. Because that was one of the big things that he wanted. He wanted a University of North Carolina campus on in our area and uh, finally got it with the arrival of, uh, of ASU in, in Hickory. So that was a good thing. Uh, thanks so much. That was that was good and right and appropriate, and I'm glad you said that. And I did not realize, and we did a lot of things, but I did not know he was – uh, looking at bringing that to Hickory. More first talk on the way. Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. The mission of the Hickory Conover Tourism Development Authority is to market and enhance the economy. I'm going to go back to that again. To market and enhance the economy of the Hickory Metro. And, of course, more there with the mission statement. But we want to get right back to it. But the economy, that word really jumped out at me because I don't think people sometimes really understand. But I'm so glad that that is in there and that is uh, predominant and that people understand to market and enhance the economy of the Hickory Greater Metro. Of course, by promoting the dynamic destination with sports, conventions, events, and leisure travel. That is the uh, the statement. Now, we were going over the convention center expansion and updates. Uh, Barry not able to make it. Bear with us. He was a great, I think that was great to bear with us. You continue to have events and so forth at the convention center. But I think you want to wrap that up and talk about maybe some of the meetings and events that are coming up. Right, right. So, really, we are repl- – and one thing I want to add is we are redoing our board – um, yes, we're borrowing money, paying it back in the next 20 years, but our board decided to do some more additional updates, renovations, new carpet, um, new paint, putting in a brand new audio, I mean, have new AV new throughout the entire building. Um, the Economic Development Office will be updated. Our visitor center is going to move towards the main lobby, and we're going to be adding more offices because as we grow, we need more people. As we, So it, it, there's a lot of... Um, Things happening over there. We have some parking spaces being built in front on that roadway. You've seen it from the, you can probably see it from the interstate. So there's a lot of things happening. I really encourage people to go to visit hickorymetro.com, go under construction updates, and you can stay up to date with it. Very good. Um, so, but luckily during all this, 
uh, we have been able to stay open. And um, we have a lot of public shows this weekend. We, we have meetings during the week, but shows for the public. We got a train show Friday, Saturday, which is popular. Then the Gun and Knife show, RV show, Comic Con. You can look at all that again on our, our website as well or, or follow us on social media. But one thing I do want to say that does stick out is people are like, how? I mean, you guys are staying busy. So if you think about um, May 2022 to February 2023, that was before we did our started our groundbreaking, right? Okay. May 1. We had 150 events with the entire building open. Okay. okay? So uh, May 2023, last May, to right. this past February, we had 133 events with half the building wow. open. Wow. Pretty good. So we haven't slowed down, so we've been very fortunate about that. Yep. So a lot of things are good happening there. But another thing, okay, so I'm going to switch gears, put okay. on a different hat. All people, right. You know, I'm actually looking like I'm putting on a different hat, don't I? But anyways, visitors. So we talk about visitors and how they make a difference on our economy. Sure. That's why we're doing this. A convention center is bringing visitors. It is a positive impact on our economy, and it's really important. As we um, talk about visitors, again, we're thankful for all of our partners because we all bring visitors. I mean, I mean, if you think of all the organizations, all the things we do, it's bringing visitors. Our job is to promote um, Hickory in, around the southeast, really a lot of communities, that are, a lot of people that are coming to our area from the southeast. We know where those areas are. We're trying to bring them here. Right, right now, I want people to go online and vote for the best main street. Yes. You very, know, I yeah, heard Ingrid talk about it. Sarah's yes. talked about it. Uh, Sarah... Um, Killian, and there's lots of Sarahs. So Sarah, yeah, there's, so she talked about it. So the poll, but how that, and I'm so excited, vote every single day between now and next Monday. And why is that important? It's just another positive note about our community and how that came about. I mean, all of us, everything working together, that's one of my favorite things to say. All of us working together are really making Hickory and the Metro what it is today, public, private, grassroots nonprofits, individuals, and so basically, and WHKY especially bringing it up. But and, station and manager, and Linda, station manager, yeah, yes. sta our station manager, Linda, sent out an email last week and said, and th th just from what you were saying, make sure that we vote, make sure that we vote every day because what's good for Hickory is good for the station. Exactly. And with you saying us all work together, that means what's good for Hickory is good for the hamburger stand. Exactly. What's good for Hickory is good for the for manufacturing hotels. plant. For hotels, right, wherever. For restaurants, so you know, if it's good, so everything. Very astute observation on her part, but, yes, yeah, she encouraged us right. to vote every day. Right, and how that really came about, we didn't we didn't nominate ourselves. We just happened to host a travel writer last year, and that travel writer uh, recommended, I mean, you know, actually nominated us. So that's a really positive thing. So that's really important. Um Another thing I want to switch to the North Carolina Travel Guide 2024. Um, it's a travel, I mean, it, it's half a million people get actually uh, probably an actual paper copy, which All I right. should have brought you one today. I'm going to bring you one um, or may give it to Linda when I see her at Rotary f to share it with you. But there, or I might have already brought it to you, there is a story about hickory in there and that's all about relationships. You know, it's all about relationship building. The destination or the travel guide for um 2024 there is an ad in there we usually put an ad in there it's a different one but we usually put an ad in there of course and i know the furniture mart is a destination they put in an ad but actually we had a a writer write a story about hickory so that means a lot to think that we have a full page written about our community which is really important 2023 24 travel destination yeah, guide. that's the hickory one but i'm talking about the north carolina oh, destination wow. guide. okay yeah so you've got to think people are coming i mean visit north carolina who is our partner we just left we just had a visit north carolina conference in greenville north carolina next year it's going to be in hickory april 2025 again about relationships so hickory is becoming known as a visitor destination which is great yes we've had visitors come in and out since we started i mean the hickory tavern i mean we had the tavern people staying over it's always been about hospitality it's always been about hospitality but now we're really um people are really starting to notice all the things there is to do here so anyway so that's a little bit about make sure that you do that how we really promote that there's so many different things i mean you got to think about what else is going to bring more visitors here we got the new hickory football the soccer we got baseball hickory football got club hickory fc the speedway you were there that night when they did the brand that's right yes y'all were out there so, cheering i mean all of those things um are really blending together about bringing visitors to our area and talking about we do this and maybe we can find a time in May if you all have some time. We 
celebrate National Travel and Tourism Week. And that's this year. It's a little bit later. It's May 19th to the 25th. 25th, right. 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 Right here on the notes that you got to. Yeah. So, but basically, hospitality employees are extremely valuable. Oh, yeah. And it's a week to really highlight those that are working at the restaurants, those working at the hotels, those working at the museums, working, you know, greeting people, you know, whether it's a theater or whether it's a restaurant or whether it's greeting someone who's getting ready to stay for the weekend for a sporting event, a convention, a swim meet, anything. I have had people tell me who have visited the area that they have had a hard time finding their way around town, even with a GPS, and people will say, just follow me. I'm going by there anyway. I'm looking for whatever it may be. Right. And people will say, just follow me. I'll take you by there. Right. And it's incredible. That level of involvement and hospitality and helping somebody out. How many towns actually do that? I know. It. You know, it's like I'm looking for the We're salt block. We're just bo- genuine, hospitable people. Looking for I the hope. salt block. Looking for the planetarium. Looking right. for the aquarium. Follow me. I'll take you right to it. And, and there are so many events. I mean, you even know, with our great wayfinding signs, we still we have do. That. We do, and it, it's going to happen. And people, but I do think um, that's going to improve, especially. You as You don't I'm see so, that in Charlotte. People don't do that in Charlotte. I, Follow me. I'll be right. I'm going that way, or that doesn't happen. But how exciting this week! Again, it's really great for residents. We've got the Ole, the Ole, and the Riverwalk oh, yeah. opening this week. That's great that? for residents. Yeah. Wonderful, uh, but it's also a big positive for our guests that are coming in our uh, visitors yeah. is they're you know they're here maybe for a week a business travel and maybe they want to go for a walk somewhere they want to go stroll around the river now they can do that and really it's everything that's positive for residents is a positive for visitors and those visitors help us obviously um, in so many different ways and so um, we I really I can't wait to see what this is what I love to say all the time but I really can't wait to see where we are a year from today right Let's think about April 1st. April 1st. Let's think Let's about think a about year from today, year right? year from today. The Convention Center will be done. Right. We've got all these different private-public partnerships going to be done. You know, we're going to have hopefully two new hotels almost complete, wow. maybe a few more down the way. I mean, we have the soccer. We have the racing. We have baseball. We have conventions and sports. And then I can't wait to see where we are three years from now. So one, three, and five are like the numbers. I always like to look to see where we okay. are. So I, I'm excited to see where this convention district and our visitor visitor numbers in the next year, three years, five years. Because we're getting a lot of attention. And, again, it's positive. Yes. I know some people, it is hard. Some people are like, holly, there's so many people here. Well, you know, it's making a positive impact. And so when you see a visitor, greet them, welcome them, tell them your story about Hickory and show them around. And we just appreciate um, all the partnerships um, making this place a Best place ever. It's been a great idea, us getting together for an update from time to time. We're going to do it at least quarterly, but anytime that you have an update, and it'll be great to have you in for tourism um, during May. Always good to see you. Mandy Pitts, Elderbrand. More First Talk after this.